Thank you, Will. Uh, so again, as I had mentioned earlier, to effectively protect and conserve key habitat uh, that is important to ecologically important uh, forage fish species, it's really important to know where that beach spawning habitat in, is in British Columbia. And having that Pacific Salmon Foundation and UBC open accessible database really allows for this um, information to kind of be put out there and be able to be integrated into important things like scientific research and planning. An integration of this data results in the development of tools, uh, including things like a habitat suitability model um, that can be provided then out to decision makers, uh, which will result in increased conservation and protective for uh, uh, protection for forage fish and their habitat. And so WWF Canada has been working with a University of British Columbia master's candidate who has been tapping into this openly accessible data on the Strait of Georgia data center site and integrating the data collected by this large forage fish monitoring network to basically build a model for Pacific sand lance uh, intertidal spawning habitat uh, within the Salish Sea. And this integration of data results in the creation of tools that allows decision makers to use the information to better mediate human impacts on coastal uh, environment. And that, by being saying that is, you know, the development around the coastal regions. Uh, in, in addition, open access data helps conservation organizations like WWF uh, to better advocate for improvements to the protection of fish and their habitats through regulatory modifications or looking into the need for new regulations or identifying restoration sites that can improve the quality of habitat for these fish. It'll aid uh, municipal and regional planners around the types of development that should occur around their, their areas. Um, especially around those shorelines that are adjacent to spawning beaches. Uh, it also, it can be integrated by Fisheries and Oceans Canada's um, Pacific Int uh, Integrated Emergency Response Network. Uh, they've requested uh, these upcoming spawning layers to basically use them as tools to help the emergency response planning of an oil and gas spill. And this will help to prioritize coastal protection of sand and gravel beaches from spills prioritize cleanup locations and access to those positive beach sites uh, where forage fish are spawning will aid in the prioritization of the sites that are being protected. So thank you very much and if there's any questions please feel free to ask.